These youth are getting a taste of NHL Street at the second annual Youth TP Summit. The First Nations Health Consortium's free three-day event offered special guest speakers offering knowledge on important issues like drug overdoses, mental health, and the dangers of sexually transmitted diseases. Sunday saw an improv learning session. On Friday, NHL Street was a favorite. The program has been to the U.S. and Canada, opening up the game of hockey to everyone. Tom Garavaglia is the director and says that NHL Street gets people who have never played before hooked on the game. Once you actually get a chance to put a stick in a hand, that's when you have the, the biggest impact, right? It's one thing to talk about it, it's something else to actually go out and play, play the game. So we're going to get everybody up, we're going to get a move in, and uh, we're going to try to score some goals and see who has the best uh, goal celebration out here. He says that NHL Street will be working with Alberta's First Nations to bring the game to their communities. We've just begun in this relationship, this partnership, so this is our first touch point with them, uh, making sure again that we're rolling it out in the right ways and giving them the tools necessary. But over the next few months, our friends at Heroes Hockey have also partnered with us and First Nations to bring sets of equipment to these different communities throughout the province. So we're very excited to, to get this program rolled out and, and get some people playing a great game. Inside the building, Curling Canada presented Rocks and Rings, Floor Curling, a sport that can be played without ice, and much more accessible. The Alberta Minister of Indigenous Relations, Rick Wilson, played a game against Edmonton Mayor Amadit Sohi. And I just beat the Mayor of Edmonton, just to let you know. <laughs> but this is such a great event. Uh, all of this stuff is available to communities for free. It's to help the kids get involved in sports. Uh, we go outside, you've seen the, the, the hockey rink they've got. And so you don't need all that fancy equipment and all the expense. You can just go have fun as a kid. And the youth really took to the summit. I've definitely learned a lot from the first day, especially with all the presentations. Second day, it was a, especially um, coming in uh, with the activities. Yeah, it was definitely pretty cool. What's been your favorite part so far? Uh, definitely the hockey part, 100% hockey part. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, St. Albert.